the one on one with Becca M. I know you're a big Becca fan. So I, I did not not at the beginning I wasn't, oh, but were? now I am. Well, I don't I know. Am. I shouldn't say I wasn't not a fan of her. I just kind of was unsure of her at the beginning. Okay. Because you remember like her first conversation with Ari when they're sitting like in the car and she's like, what are three words or what are three things that get you excited? And he said excitement. Oh, remember that yeah, whole conversation? Yeah. But like her things, like they came so off the cuff, like I don't remember what she said, like mountain air <laughs> or like whatever she said. It seemed so off the cuff, but in my opinion, it was so rehearsed. So to me, that was the actress in her. Okay. I think she's an actress. She, let's actress face it. Actress or a model, one of the, yeah. yeah sure. We live in Los Angeles. We know how this works. If <laughs> If you're in Los Angeles, you either are, and look, I'm a host, like whatever, like, so are you. Yeah. Like we're in the industry but too. So waitress, can, nanny. Nanny yeah. lives in LA, is gorgeous. Like if she's not an actress, she needs to be and not or a model. Put an actress as her profession. <laughs> right. And she's an aspiring actress. I don't think that she is. That is her Okay. Or, actually, I don't even know that for sure. I'm just guessing. But that wouldn't be her profession. So she wouldn't put that. So anyway, I feel like that was the actress in her doing all okay. that. So I was kind of unsure of her at first. But now I love her. Like I think, yes, yeah, she's 22. We found that out last night. She's very young, but I do think she's a much, very mature 22. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that she's super cool. I mean, she's a cool girl, right? She is right? a cool girl. She's like articulate, she's beautiful. She like seems like a free spirit. I really, really like her. Honestly, if she wasn't 22, I'd be campaigning for her to be the next Bachelorette. No, cause there's no way she's her and Ari are ending up together, in my opinion. There's no way. So do you think age is just a number or she is just too young for Ari? Do you know what's that movie? He's just not that into you. Is yeah. that what it is? Where well, they're like, you're the exception, not the rule. Is that what it is? No, 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 no. What movie is that? Is it about age? Are we talking about age? Because I know pretty much every romantic comedy no. in existence. Oh, it's a Scarlett Johansson. Come oh, on, guys, tell us what it Scarlett is. Scarlett Johansson. S well, Scarlett Johansson's in it. The girl. Um, anyone? Anyone? Uh, oh, come on. Our crew does not. Come no, on, you guys. Wrong anybody, wrong. Is there any comments? Anyone telling oh, us? Oh, hold what on. It is? Scarlett Johansson is in. He's just not that into you. I think that's so what it that is. So they say, it. like, you're not the exception to the rules. So this is what I think with Becca. Do I think a 14-year age, if that's how much it is, 14, 14 years? Yeah. Do I think that that can work? Absolutely. I know stories of that working for people with mm -hmm. that big of an age difference. But I think those stories are the exception, mm. not the rule. So I think generally, no. That's too big of an age difference. It's not going to work. And this is the thing. In Bachelor world, your odds are so low of making it work anyway. Like, like think about it. Everyone, if I took one of you and I put you in a room with 25 men or women and said, one of these people are going to be your husband or wife, like you would be like, what are your odds of that being true? Like there's a chance and that's why you go on the show because you're mm -hmm. kind of like, maybe this is like my path and how I'm supposed to find the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life. At least that's what I thought. But the chances are slim. So if you're throwing that in, like one, it's one out of 25. So that's already a slim chance. And then two or 30, however many you get in the season. <laughs> But then you're throwing in another factor of, and now the person, now all the people are 14 years younger than you. That even decreases your odds even more. So I don't think it's likely. Okay, so stack the odds in your favor. And that's not a good, yeah, those yeah, odds are not, not going to help you. Not in Ari's favor. I mean, they do have chemistry. We, we know this, but yeah. um, that might not be enough to. Their conversation was the best last it, it night. Was, didn't it was, it was. think? And I think that has a lot to do with who she is. There's something just, at first you didn't see that as much, but now I just feel like she's becoming more authentic. And totally. Just, she's just this like a kind of free-spirited girl. Yeah. And yeah, there's something very intriguing about that. Well, think about all the Bachelor conversations, right? They're like, where do you see yourself in five years? Do you want kids? Where do you, like, they're all the same Heavy, boring conversations. Boring. Yeah, it's like an interview. And there's it's just, and she, know, she was just looking him right the eye, in the eyes and it just felt, Oh, real. real. It felt real and raw, yeah. and it was like one of the few real and raw conversations that I've ever seen on the show. So, so I loved refreshing. it. I thought it was great. I don't think they're going to end up together. Mm -hmm. um, well, we shall see. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.